The chemistry prize of 2019 has been awarded to three persons. It's uh, John B. Goodenough, it's uh, M. Stanley Whittingham, and it's Akira Yoshino for their development of the lithium-ion battery. The story of the lithium-ion battery starts in the 1970s when Stanley and Whittingham started using lithium in the batteries. And this gave a really powerful battery. And then John B. Goodenough realized that he could replace the cathode material that was used by Whittingham and he actually increased the capacity of the battery by the double. At this point, the batteries relied on lithium metal, which is a very reactive compound. And the contribution of Akira Yoshino was to replace the lithium metal with a carbon-based material and thereby increase the safety for the lithium-ion batteries. The benefit of lithium-ion batteries, uh, we can see it every day. We use lithium-ion batteries in our cell phones, we use it in our laptops, and we use it more and more in electric vehicles. And for the future, we hope that even better lithium-ion batteries can be used to store energy from renewable sources, such as wind and solar, because the wind doesn't always blow and the sun doesn't always shine, which means that we want to store the energy from, uh, we want to store the renewable energy in lithium ion batteries so we can use it when we need it the most. In turn, this will decrease the use of fossil fuels and thereby decrease the amount of greenhouse gases that we emit. For the future, the lithium ion batteries hold uh, even more dense batteries with more energy per volume and weight. And uh, we can also see that the science and the knowledge that these three uh, laureates have contributed with can uh, open up for even newer battery systems relying on perhaps different ions or different materials that will perhaps give cheaper, better and more environmentally friendly batteries.